Did you know that your Wi-Fi router can give you a much stronger and a faster Wi-Fi signal, but government is actually restricting it? Your router has all the tech that's built in, but it is stuck in low power mode because legally it is not allowed to give you more power. But the good news is there is now a legal way to get around that. The feature is called AFC and thanks to ASUS for sending over the ROG Strix GSBE18000 and for sponsoring this video so I can actually show you what this is. Right, within my router settings, you can see that the AFC is currently switched off. I'm gonna do two tests with it off, run the test and then switch it on and then run the exact same test and then we can compare. So here's my laptop. It's currently getting 5,188 megabits per second right next to the router. Let's go all the way across the house to the other side completely. 29 megabits per second. Not a bad speed if you're thinking of the distance, but now let's go enable AFC and see if it makes any difference to the speed. Right, back into the router we go. And this time we're gonna enable AFC. Now it takes a little second to apply the settings and when it gets to 100%, there we go. You should see standard power mode. Now, without making any changes to my laptop, Link speed, 5,764, so already more than the first set. Now let's go to the other side of the house and let's see what we get there. Okay, so now we get, look at that, 576 megabits per second. Wow. So same computer, same router, two very different Wi-Fi link speed. So what is actually going on? What the actual AFC? Well, AFC actually stands for automatic frequency coordination. Wi-Fi works in what is known as the unlicensed spectrum. That is part of the airwaves that anybody can use where we have things like 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and now 6 gigahertz. But there is a problem. This unlicensed spectrum area, especially in the 6 gigahertz band, was originally reserved for things like telecom infrastructure, satellite stations, emergency services, broadcasting links, those are what is known as critical systems. And so the government said, hey, look, you can use your Wi-Fi 6, but you cannot interfere with this critical system, which I suppose is fair enough. So when they open up this Wi-Fi 6 for Wi-Fi people to use, they said, look, here are some rules that you have to abide by. Low power mode only, indoor use only, limited range, no outdoor boosting, and certainly no powerful antennas. So Wi-Fi companies had no choice and in order to use six gigahertz on their routers, they had to abide by those rules, which meant that no matter how powerful the router is, it's always gonna be stuck in this low power mode. Well, not always because now we have AFC. Think of your router like this, like a small local airport. You know those airports where there's no air traffic control? Planes can take off and land whenever they want. They share the same narrow runway. If too many planes want to go at once, well, we're gonna have issues like congestions and nobody knows whose turn it is to go and it becomes a friggin' mess. And frankly, pretty dangerous. So, there are government rules. Every plane must inform every other plane in the area what they're doing. And this keeps the peace and keeps the order. Now, let's think of a major international airport with air traffic control. The same rules apply. Planes still need to inform each other of their plans and what they're doing and what their movements, but they also need to check in with air traffic control and get permission. What air traffic control does is keep everybody safe and make sure that no plane interferes with another. Those are the rules. With AFC, the router acts like a type of air traffic control. What it does is firstly check in with a system that's in the cloud and says, hey, look, here is my position, here is my location. Are there any government critical infrastructure systems anywhere around me? That cloud system goes ahead and checks the skies and literally the airwaves to, and comes back with clearance. And it says, okay, look, if there are sensitive government critical infrastructure equipment nearby, you do not have permission to go into standard power mode. You have gotta stay in your low power mode settings because you're going to interfere with those systems, which is, Fair enough. But if there are no critical systems nearby, then AFC will tell your router, permission granted, go big, go to full Wi-Fi power mode. 
This is the only legal way to go into standard power in the 6 gigahertz band and this is exactly what this router is built to do. You saw it firsthand with my laptop test. Without AFC, I was stuck at the furthest point in my house at 29 megabits per second. But as soon as I just enabled the AFC, it shot up to 576 megabits per second. That is not a minor improvement. That's pretty friggin' massive. People with homes that have those like thick walls or long hallways and typically struggle getting that Wi-Fi signal everywhere are going to love this. More stable, more reliable, and 20 plus devices online, no issues whatsoever. But, and you know with technology, there's always a but. You need to be aware that when it comes to data, there are two types of data. There is data that is sent from the router to the device, and then these data sent from the device to the router. When it comes to AFC, you are gonna get the full extra power to your device. But from your device to the router will depend on the device itself, and if that device has that capability. Things like iOS 18.4 or later, it works both ways, as does the laptop, but as long as you've got the Intel 23.130 driver. You've gotta check your own tech. But regardless, going to the device, which is frankly what most of us really care about, uh, typically you're gonna get that extra power. Okay, so AFC is unlocked, we're getting full legal power. Let's talk about what this router can actually do in real homes with the real world demands. Well, firstly, it runs 157. So you're gonna get that stronger signal throughout the entire home in the six gigahertz band, and it has eight internal antennas. Even with everybody online, Bandwidth should not be an issue as it can handle up to 18 gigabits of combined bandwidth and it has multi-link operation, MLO. If you don't want to go wireless, you also get seven, seven 2.5 gigabit LAN ports and 2.5 gig WAN port. Two of those LAN ports are automatically prioritized without you having to mess around with settings or QoS menus or even know what those mean. So plug your main device, your main computer into this router directly and you're sweet. For me, it's all about the first line of defense, which is security. Now with an Asus router, which is why I love their products so much and keep testing them, you get the AI protection, which is powered by Trend Micro. It is automatically gets updated very much like the antivirus on your computer without us having to pay a monthly fee for that service. That means that first line of defense against malware, hacker, device hijacking just gets taken care of at the main point, which is the router. And still want security? I like to set up a VPN network so every device on my network gets that VPN protection without me having to go to each device and installing it and hoping that the kids actually enable their friggin' VPN. Now, I have some smart devices in my home, like, like my leak detection in case there's a water leakage. Um, I have smart cameras, I have smart doorbells, but I also am smart enough to keep them on their own IoT network, which means if they go down, if they get hacked, if anything happens, the IoT Wi-Fi network just keeps it separate away from my main network. With this router, click a button, just does it for you. Look, those who know me, you know that I'm not a gamer, but this Wi-Fi router is a whole bunch of gaming features. So if you've got someone in your home who is a gamer, they're going to love things like a dedicated gaming port. Plus there's a whole bunch of other things like adaptive QoS, there's a traffic analyzer, there's gear accelerator. There's something in this router for literally everybody. Hardwired devices, check. Wi-Fi that's super strong and super reliable, check. Gaming, check. Streaming, check, this is actually pretty perfect. And I love the fact that Asus has thought, hey, how do we get legally around this government restriction? And they brought in AFC into the router itself. And as soon as you enable that, man, this is like a whole new beast. Now, I know some of you may be wondering, look, dude, I've only got Wi-Fi five devices, maybe some Wi-Fi six devices. Do I really wanna go to Wi-Fi seven? Is it gonna make any difference whatsoever? Great question, I've got a whole video about that which you can check right over here, but before you head out, give the video a quick thumbs up and I'm gonna see you over there. Let's go.